viewers. Um, today's going to be a really good lesson video you want to kind of stick around and watch. Because this is going to be one video about a life lesson, a say money lesson I learned being on the job. And some things I learned before I've gotten a job, so financial advice, all that stuff, so I'm just going to get started. For the most part, I'm going to talk about my visions, dreams, everything like that, so everyone can have an understanding who I really am as a person. So to begin, well, the day I got, I got I started working would be December 4th, 2018, sorry. December 4th, 2018. And... Yeah, I got paid about five dollars an hour, and I was paying for that for the first month, so that was like not that bad. And we didn't open up a checking account yet, so we we're on the way on the way with the process of doing that. So without that, we um with the first check, we kind of put some of this in the. App. And in my savings account, because we didn't have a checking account open at the time. So it took me, I think about the next, the second paycheck that I got, or second second or third, to finally get a, a checking account open. Because it's like, with my bank, we have, there's a certain minimum that you have to have to open an account, you know. So me, it took me about to about January of this past year to finally open my first checking account. And it took a while to build up on that, you know, build build the amount up every so often. It comes to a point now and first of all I'm gonna give you my first advice. Number one, it's good to have a checking account and know when to use it. Because, also, it goes under creating a budget. Like, you don't want to um, put your account too low because it might freeze your account, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you might get a bank call. You might get stuff like that saying that you're low on money or something like that. Don't do that. Please. Make sure you get plenty, plenty, plenty money in your accounts every time. Check your statements. So what I did was I add, I've been having a savings account ever since high school, ever since I graduated high school. I'm, and it's still active now, as far as I know. But I've been doing some transfers to it every... And let me tell you a story. How I got paid the minimum wage, and you might know where I've got come from now. So, updated to about January, and 30 days later, which I, that was my first 30 days I've been working. And they did a little time study on me, saying, um, um, how am I gonna say this? Time study is generally like a test. To and it affects how much the individual gets paid on campus. So, me, I'm well up on my studies. A lot. So, I'm pretty much at, um, 20, 20, I started after that, was the penny off the minimum wage, it was a 724. So, needless to say, I put, I've been letting the, uh, the account build up every time Every two weeks comes about. This is how we also do it. And how my savings account, checking accounts for me in the good. Number one, for me, I'll tell you about my dream a little bit. And tell you a little bit about me that you just don't know. Okay. Uh, I have a personal dream of mine to either become a music teacher or a music therapist in the future. Which requires a college education to get through, to be certified. 
Which to me, that's going to cost me a lot of money to do and a lot of process to do. So, to say that it will, it's going to cost me, like, every semester. And right at this moment, I am putting money in savings accounts, little by little, to build the account up. I may have started low before I started working, but now it's better now. It's like more than in the thousand plus songs, whatever, I'm not seeing the actual. But it's it's better than when I started with, to tell you. Yes. So I have to say, I'm working for my dreams is a blessing. Two, I'm going to trade for the world right now. Because I'm working hard to get back into school is the first end of the bargain. And the number one thing, it takes money. And yes, they really need your money for your classes. And that's part of adulting. So I ended up putting, um, like, from earlier this year, I've been making it a habit of every time I get paid, which is my pay cycle every two weeks, which is the minimum wage I get about a very good decent amount. Whatever minimum wage is with my hours, so I kind of do that. So, honestly, what I have been doing to make my accounts stay pretty stable was to take the, the, um, the amount I've been given once every two weeks, which is on the day of pay, payday. So I take that get with my phone and I'll just flat, flash open the the calculator. If you, you probably can't you probably can you probably can't see it that great. But I've been open up my calculator to full extent right here. And now I'll go ahead and take my amount that I've gotten and put it towards my uh, make a transfer to savings. So that's like the best thing I do. And what? Why everything's in the good? Because, two, long term, I'm watching and controlling how, how money flows, you know. To make sure there's enough to, for me to get through what I need to do in life. And to get further. Like me, I have visions of being a music. Uh, music teacher, music therapist, anything that works with severely disabled kids because I love music. And to me this job is important because it gives me a chance to start that career no matter what. And also Control your spending is very my number two. Like, don't go beyond your means of buying. Your basics should be food, clothes, water, stuff like that. And shoes. Shoes is very important, which is also clothes, but those are your basics. You don't need to buy really expensive items on your list. Like, for instance, I hear people say they pay $400 for shoes. You don't need that. I'll tell you straight up. If you have a dream to, you will not be spending as endless amount of money on a pair of shoes. Because you need the money for your future. Like I do. Number two. Nobody needs to be spending a whole lot of money on a new top of the line cell phone. Yes, I'm saying this. And yes, I'm speaking to you. Because when you pay a top of the line like iPhone XR, it's like a thousand dollars for a phone brought out. And you gotta pay your contract fees, you gotta pay uh, data, data, contract fees, insurance fees. All that. If you 
you want a smartphone but you don't want to pay the high price for that phone, go to Walmart.com because you could get a cheaper phone doing this. You may get an older phone like this, which mine was about, uh, the phone itself was $114 on walmart.com with the free shipping but you literally buy your phone out that way and that's not including the case now the case is twenty to thirty dollars extra on top of that which i came out to be about one twenty to one thirty for the whole thing compared to what i'll be paying uh... what someone will be paying a month on on a contract, on the insurance of the phone and stuff like that, you're better off getting it online. Which, some, sometimes you get like a better deal than what your provider will provide for you. Because that brings about, about my next point. Shop for sales. Like, also you, it's okay to shop for a sale. Like, if you find something so expensive somewhere, just sometimes there's another place that may be cheaper, you know? Like, I can't think, for instance, of anything, really. Sometimes I know where it's cheaper, and I'll just go right to that place to find it and buy it. So... And yes, shopping cheaper on other places, if you're really like me saving money, it's, a, it's just an option to go. And two, and number four, do your research on all the options that you're doing. If you're doing school like me, you're looking at possibly working a while to save up the money. Which is the best answer you can have for yourself. And you figure out, okay, how much will I need per semester? How much you need? And for me, it'd probably be a good bet. That's not including the, the books. The books would be another cost on its own. And that adds up. Yes, it adds up for all of it. Now, but I'll show you in a little bitty bit of how much books and tuition cost for each area and hey, which actually I'm probably not going to tell you, but I'm going to tell you in great detail. Be prepared. If you're, you like me, uh, working towards going back to school, be very prepared. Because me, I know I'm going to have to do a lot. It's going to be a lot of saving up. It's going to be, once I get into school, i got to kind of bring my grades back up. Because I was in school a few years back. It had a semester I was I was doing really rough. So I'm going to do that. Work my you know tails off. Bring my grades up. And then keeping my grades up would be another challenge. On its own. And plus, uh, practicing, because I'm going to be in music, and yes, I've been doing some research on this, that I'm going to be practicing quite a bit with studying, and possibly uh, kind of hold down a job too, because that's the only way to pay for my cost, and all the stuff that I need to continue education, to finish, to finish a degree, to start my life, stuff like that. But in a god, in a godly way. So, if you should have any questions about my life a little bit more, feel free to, to say so. I'll be writing your comments. Bye.